Hello everyone, my name is Sid and I am one of the technical support staff and moderators on the Fallout New California um, Discord chat or server. Uh, today we're going to, uh, well I'm going to show you how to properly manually install Fallout New Vegas, uh, the mod New California, through the manual method. There's a few things you need before you start and that's these files here. You will need the 4GB patch, which will be linked in the description. You will need Fault New California, of course. I uh, link to that. Uh, both the ModD, uh, ModDB and Nexus Mod Manager, or Nexus Mod Page, will be linked in the description. NVAC, uh, NW, or NVAC, uh, Script Extender, and Anti Crash, also linked in the description, and the 4GB patcher. The first thing we're going to do. Uh, we are going to do an installation of uh, the script extender. The way you do this, you just download manually from the website. Uh, you go into the zip file. You can extract this to a folder or you can do like this. You're just going to copy all of this and paste it straight into your New Vegas folder. But before we do that, the most important thing, please have a clean install of New Vegas. Uh, a lot of people I know will have a modded version of New Vegas already, uh, but I will highly recommend doing something like this. Just have your old save, uh, like in your sim folder. Um, just add uh, a dash and modded to it, and then validate your game files through Steam, and it will download a new fresh copy. This isn't completely fresh because I'm redoing this tutorial. Um, I have the 4GB patch installed already. It should not be a problem for you. Uh, this, basically the backup and the patch and source should not be there. We'll get to that and I'll rerun it for us. But, so go back to wherever you saved your uh, script extender. Uh, I have it in my where I usually save all my mods for New Vegas and then just made a folder for this tutorial. Uh, you're going to open or extract uh, using 7-zip or WinRAR and then just gonna copy all of these files, make sure it's all of them, into your uh, root folder or your Vegas install folder. If you get prompted to overwrite just say yes and just let everything do as it wants to do. And now you have uh, New Vegas NVSC installed. I'm using Fallout Mod Manager for just managing my plugins. You can use uh, Mod Organizer, you can use Nexus Mod Manager, uh, or whatever, or Vortex or whatever manager you like to use. Uh, but do not install uh, Fallout New California through a mod manager. Uh, at least for this tutorial. Uh, it will not work uh, if you're using Nexus Mod or if you're using uh, technically for Mod Manager. Uh, they, are, they are outdated and old and will not provide a good package install of uh, FNC at all. It will break. I'm pro I promise you that. So the most reliable way to do this is how I'm doing it now. A manual install. I'm just gonna close it down. I have it here under my fence in FOM, and now you see we have NVSC installed. Uh, this is basically just so we can use NVAC later, the anti crash plugin for Script Extender. So I'm just going to close this down and ignore it for now. We don't need this until we start. Now you're going to, um, when you've downloaded your anti crash, uh, links will, to all of these will be in the description, including a link to. Uh, the FNC, the official FNC uh, Discord server where you can ask me or any of the other staff and moderators any questions you have. Now, copy the nvac.dll, go to your data, go to nvse, and make a new folder called plugins. This is basically, it makes sure that nvac uh, will read that there is a
since I've already had it installed, I'm just going to copy and replace it. Then you want to either as administrator or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, since I've already patched it, it's telling me that I've patched it. Um, if you haven't, it will patch it and then just press a button and you will have a backup folder. Now, this is the most important step, like we're just doing it now. Uh, this patch makes, makes it so that you can actually install and run FNC. If you don't do this, it has a 99.9% .9 chance of crashing during several parts of the intro, C, uh, intro part of the mod. Now, for FNC, um, you're going to open your data, fo uh, data folder, just in New Vegas, and you're going to open the folder called OO Data, and then after that, OO Plugins, and copy all of the in internals. Before we're doing that, uh, we're going to take a look at the readmes. Uh, this readme right here is very important. Since we're doing a manual install, it's not super important. Uh, because, hey. So, as it says, you need a mod manager. Uh, either <laughs> these two. Sadly, they are outdated now. Uh, we do not support the Nexus mod manager or FOM for install, uh, package installation. The reason for this is that, as I said, both NNM and FO, uh, the mod manager, Fallout mod manager, are outdated. Uh, you will also find a link to the 4 gig patch here, uh, but you can just ignore this part. This is for package installation, we don't care about that. Website links and Discord, this will be in the description as well. Uh, troubleshooting, uh, live chat help in the Discord, as said, uh, there, and there is a bunch of stuff here. We're just going to ignore this, for, I'm just going to ignore this for now, but if you have issues, please read it. Right. Open the double O data folder and just copy all of these into your Fallout New Vegas data folder. This will take uh, a while depending on your system, so just let it do its thing. Uh, and we're gonna make a cut here until we're done. So if you're getting a overwrite prompt, just say yes. Uh, this is intentional. Uh, there are some files that we're replacing. All right. So now we have all the data files for FNC in our archive. The next step is to do the same thing with the plugins. Just copy all of those into your Fallout New Vegas data folder, like so. I'm just going to click update. I like doing that. Now you can see that we have a whole slew of new California things here. The BSA files are archives for voices, textures, meshes, menus, UI, and everything. Uh, the plugins are the game, basically, or the mod. Now we've done this, just keep everything at where it is, and we can open up our uh, mod manager. I am using FOM for this because I'm more comfortable using it and since we're manually installing we don't need to worry about uh, anything else basically. Uh, New California and its uh, children ESPs should always, and I say always, be loaded after the official ESMs. If you do not have um, the DLCs or any of the DLCs or content packs, like Dead Money, Lonesome Road, uh, Gunrunner packs, you don't need to use the DLC controller or Curry Stash controller. If you have them, do it like this. This is the essential load order. Uh, we, since we have NVSE, we are gonna just launch up the game. And if you follow the instructions correctly, you will get some custom uh, loading screens like this one. So we have uh, installed it correctly. 
Uh, now we're just gonna wait for the loading screens to load. Get some wonderful art. Uh, now, if you click New Game, all of the saves will be written. That's fine. That's how all new games begin. You will get this prompt. Uh, if you have followed the instructions correctly, clicking New California will bring you to this. There is a bug where if you don't follow the instructions, you will be taken to Doc Mitchell's house. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's incorrect. So we're just gonna skip this. And we're gonna get thrown into a new cutscene uh, after loading. Made by the wonderful New California team. Make the play, kid. Come on. So, this is one of the most common crashes. We gonna do the dodge or tackle path, doesn't really matter what you do. I'm gonna do dodge. A lot of people crash here. Uh, or after this loading screen, a lot of people crashes. If they don't install the 4 gigabyte patcher, NVSE and NVAC correctly. Um, and if, when this loads, we're gonna be prompted with some stuff. Which I'm basically gonna skip. You're gonna get the character creator. Uh, since FCO is not compatible, you get stuck with our custom... Uh, Custom wall dwellers. <laughs> These look actually way better in game than they do in uh, in the mod manager, so it doesn't really matter what you pick. I'm just gonna skip this. This is going to be my courier. I'm telling you, I'm not a medical doctor. And you're gonna get uh, tossed into either one of two cutscenes. If you do dodge, you're going to be on the scientist path, and you're going to get this cutscene. And if you do the tackle, you're going to get thrown into a different one. Take it easy now. As you can see, out from under the effects of some heavy this guy's pain. white. He's not supposed to be it, and we're going to fix that to in a second. Wrong with Jane. So just uh, click your way through here. It doesn't really matter uh, for me what we're doing. And whenever you get to this point and you get through that door, the game might crash if you have done this incorrectly. Right now, uh, I honestly don't care. Uh, if you follow my instructions, you should not be crashing. Like it's a guarantee. I will guarantee you that you're not crashing. So I'm just going to make a quick save here and exit the game. Uh, the doctor being whiteface is a bug. Uh, there is a guide on how to fix it in the Discord. Uh, it's essentially you're going to copy a block of text and put it into your My Games New Vegas in here. Uh, it's a specific line of text. I don't think I have it in. Yeah, it's this line of text. You're going to copy that, which is B load face gen head egtf or ed egt files equals one. You're going to open your folder prefs. You're going to scroll down to the bottom of your folder pref ini files. If you already have the line in there, change that to one and save. And then in the folder, uh, just folder dot ini, you do the same. As you can see, I already have this line of text in here, and you're going to put that to 1. The next time you load up the game and you speak to uh, Dr. Hosman, he should now be the correct race and have the correct textures. So thank you for watching. Um, before I go, the most important thing, if you have the Steam version of the game, which I think most people will have, you will need the 4GB patch here. If you have the GOG version, the 4GB uh, patch is already included in the... Uh, yeah, it's already included in the package or in the EXE, and you don't need to patch it. If there's any questions, 
uh, feel free to join our Discord uh, and uh, head to the troubleshooting and installation help sections if you want to get more specific help uh, from me. Uh, my main uh, focus in the community right now is a as install help, so that's what I will help you with if I have the chance. So thank you for watching, and if there is any interest, yeah, again before I go, I'm a little bit rambly. Uh, if there is any interest in how to install all the mods for uh, FNC, that includes the recommended mod list. Um, I will make a follow-up video, it's really simple, but I will make a follow-up video for, of what mods will and will not work. Uh, so if there's an interest, please leave a comment or uh, post in the in the general chat and at me. Uh, I'm ghost parenthesis Sid. Uh, and thank you for watching. Have a nice day and enjoy New California.